According to history, Khalifa was a conqueror from the Kabul Empire, known for their bravery, fighting and winning battles to extend their rule. They were said to believe the only acceptable death was to die in battle. Historians have given different stories about the life and death of Khalifa Sane, but one that is almost universally accepted is that he was killed and buried in a village called Baria Jokadu, formerly in the Gambia in the North Bank region, but now in Senegal. According to the historians we found in the village, they narrated that Khalifa was a conqueror who attacked their village trying to overcome them so it could be part of his empire. Unfortunately, while patrolling at night with his hefty white horse to study the village, he was shot and killed and his soldiers flee away. Khalifa ni mo man chele jang. Jang. Amo mo bung, me ya bung, ole ya boint. Khalifa didn't fight with anyone in this village. The person that shot him killed him on the spot, and thus it is wrong to say he fought with anyone. Neither did he negotiate with any elder in this village. It is important to note that the elders and warriors of Baria heard of his coming and were prepared for him. When he arrived, he left his army hiding and came alone late at night trying to study how to attack the village. A woman who woke up late night to ease herself was the one who saw Khalifa on a huge white horse and informed her husband, who ran and informed the others, and they all took positions waiting for him. When he came on a second tour the same night, he was shot and fell from his horse. After the visiting group listened to different elders narrate almost the same story for hours, they were delighted to escort the Nyanchos to the graveyard of Khalifa Sane, where it is believed that he was buried in a grave separate from the village main burial because they were not sure whether or not he was a Muslim. According to historians we spoke to, this is the graveyard of Khalifa Sane, the warrior who attacked this village called Baria and was shot and killed. Because they didn't know if he was a practicing Muslim or not, 50 meters away from here is the graveyard, but they took him aside and buried him here. And this place has been missing, and these Nyanchos that we came with have been looking for their roots for the past decades, and finally they have found the graveyard of Khalifa Sane Nyancho. Ibrahim Ajame from the National Center for Arts and Culture accompanied the delegation to the village of Baria and at the graveyard, which the Nyanchos want to make a historic place says they will work with their Senegalese counterparts to help the Nyanchos achieve their dream of turning the place to a historical village. It's a history of a Gambian warrior, but buried in Senegal. So what we normally do, because we, we are sharing some historical uh, uh, areas with Senegal, like the stone circles of Senegambia. We call them the stone circles of Senegambia, because we have some stone circles in Wanar, which is in Senegal. So we have that, inter, uh, that rapport with the cultural institution in Senegal, so we normally lay them with, when issues like this come, we normally join together to see how best we can develop. So in this case too, we will collaborate with our counterparts in Senegal and then join hands together and see what we can do to develop this site. Khalifa Mane is the president of the Sane and Mane family and after traveling several kilometers to locate the graveyard of a person they refer to as the greatest among the family of the Sanes and Mane. What is next for them? We know about Khalifa Sane. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a hero, he's a griot, and also he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a fighter, he's a warrior at the same time. So what we wanted to, we want to make sure we, we, we establish something here. We make like a, um, a historical remain, we historical heritage, where you know people will come and visit here. And we want to make sure we, we do some kind of a fencing or we try to establish something that people will come and see. Babu Karsi, QTV News.